Uh, terrible. Yeah, definitely doesn't feel good losing at home. I haven't lost at home since you know, that Washington game a couple years back, so definitely didn't feel good. You guys obviously came back, but why were you trailing 24 7 like, or whatever it was? Really? Um, slow start, um, and we fumbled like on the 20 yard line, you know, on a pitch play, so we gave the ball right there for them to score. Um, yeah, so sorry, I guess. I guess. We had some penalties too that like would uh, end both most of our drives, you know, set us back like first and 15, stuff like that in the first half. You got, I mean, it kind of happened a lot where they, other teams have gone on these 20 point runs and. Why do you think that keeps happening? Uh, I don't know. Various reasons, I guess. I could say, you know, some on us and some on the defense and special teams we get with punt return, I guess. Uh, so on, 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 on everything, on all facets. What was Coach's message to you guys afterwards? Um, you know, you know, things are going to be said outside the locker room, um, but we got to stick together and we got to go back to work on Monday. Um, there's not much else we can do other than, you know, get back to work. Clay mentioned it was a sad locker room. What was it kind of like in there? I mean, we could imagine, you know, losing at home, definitely, you know, against a team that we should have beat, or that we think we should have beat. Um, I don't know how else to explain it. With the losses kind of piling up a little bit, do you start thinking about your coach and kind of how it affects him? Um, no, not really. I mean, I try not to think about those things rather than just make sure that I'm trying to get better every day, trying to, you know, keep the guys focus on everything, you know, not worried about that stuff because we can't we can't control that stuff so it doesn't help worrying about it. So when you come out on fourth and one, what's the thought of you guys? It's coming right, uh, coming run the right ball, there. Yeah, ran power. I thought we should have got it. Um, I thought they gave us a bad spot. Of course the defense blitzed everybody, but I don't know. So you guys originally went out for a field goal before that play uh -huh. and then got switched to you guys are going for it. Were you guys excited at that moment, looking forward to it? I mean, definitely, yeah, we wanted to go for it for sure, so. Not an easy call to make. We made it though. Didn't get it. That's on us. Would you lobbying it for him? Were you lobbying to go for it? Or? No, I, I think they were just kind of talking it over and then letting it play out and then you know decide to go for it. Do you even look at the standings now and just kind of, or you do just kind of look at it one game, get better every day. Yeah. Let's make the best of what, yeah. what we have. I think that's what because we can't control you know all the other teams out there and what they do. So we got to focus on ourselves and do what we can and you know make the best out of what's, what's left of the season. There it is. Until there's a streak. What's it like? Ah, uh, yeah. Um, I think that would have been. I think we went 19 in a row. Um, definitely hurts. You know, it was something that we took pride in for sure. And got to keep. Got to get it back on track for the next year. Were you hoping that you guys would? Were you, were you hoping that you guys would go for it at the end on the fourth and two? Yeah, it was questionable. Um, we we're on the 20. I don't, I don't remember yeah. exactly where, somewhere around there. Yeah, That's a hard call to make. We saw a lot of time left. We got a lot of faith in our defense. So, and you know, we scored in like 30 seconds on that last drive. So we thought we, you know, we could for sure be able to do that again. So it was a hard one.